watched Cam go crazy, crazy, insane on the Joe Budden podcast, Cat. He said he must be running a laundromat, a dry cleaner, because they all washed up. Everybody in there is super wide. Nobody's watching him no more. He don't care about him. He said, he also said, allegedly, Melissa Ford and Ice-T know each other very, very. Them bathrooms and Ice-T all go together. I'm not going to go into what he said, but he said something very crazy about the whole situation. And all this stemmed from, if you guys recall on his show, he said a couple weeks ago, a little story about him and Mason going to a promiscuous event lines, but they took the girl back home and continued having services with her own. Melissa said, you shouldn't say stories like that right now on your podcast with stuff going around with Diddy. That wasn't smart to do. And then she brought age into the situation. Cam replies back and goes crazy on live. Says he was on the age. It was like 92 that he was 16. He wasn't even supposed to be there. So I would even put that on his jacket in a time like that to even speak about it. He said he was thinking about suing their podcast for what Melissa said about it. And it looks like Joe Budden replies back to camera. Let's see what Joe had to say before we get into further detail. So please. <laughs> <laughs> and he came at Queen Slip. That's another one you can't forget. Cam came at Queen Slip and said the only reason he's not going crazy because he likes his son, he likes his family. He asked Queens for a favor. He said it was a crazy favor. I want to know what the favor was. But he said Queen Slip didn't do it. Crazy favor. We never got to say what the favor was, though. We never got to say what the favor was. Please, you already. <laughs> 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 He's not scared. It's tough. For the people that he's not scared. He says a lot of shit. It's tough. I think all you niggas is goofy. I think every last one of you niggas is goofy. I ain't gonna lie. It's tough to stay on this. What what, what makes you take the high road a lot of times? I, I feel sometimes... You, you look out for us by doing it. You don't involve us in things. And you give us the opportunity to walk off. I don't think niggas understand that. Yo, I take the high road because I'm not engaging with none of you niggas out there. Let me make myself perfectly clear. I don't do back and forth with none of you niggas out there. I don't do responding. I come in here and like to dictate. I dictate. I say what I need to say. You feel however you need to feel about it. And we just go on our separate ways. I'm not trying to have a discourse. When I come in here, it's not because I'm trying to relationship build with none of you niggas out there. Uh-uh. Also, everybody's thinking that the goofy he's talking about right now in question is Cam. Remember, Cam, I made that video we just talked about on live speaking about their cat this this happens right now i don't know if he says anything else that makes us reassure that it really is camp as of now this way so it's not much to be said you said enough thank you i stand with mel on all fronts whatever it is as a as a co-worker as a friend i feel like it's our jobs up here to check it which we did with love mm -hmm. i don't give a about none of these other goofy niggas out here and what they got to say. That shit is performative and it's shenanigan. I'm not with none of the performative shit. You think you got a lawsuit? Call your lawyer. You got enough lawyers? I think they'll advise you against it. I'm about suing these niggas, but I don't want to be a sucker. But right now, I'm kind of thinking about becoming a sucker. I guess Joe saying there's not you don't got no case in. And I ain't gonna lie to you. I kind of side with Joe on this one. Not about the whole. I ain't gonna get into that. I know I'm camera on bias, but I don't think Cam got a case. One Melissa never said. It. She said what if? What if? I feel like the word what if in a court of law. She never really said he did. She just said it was a possibility and why would you speak about it why would you speak about that during a time right now like the diddy let me get this off too i think melissa is crazy for even saying that like why even bring that up at a time like that? that's what i think why even say it? why even say it and then cam was mad at joe because he said why didn't you edit it out we could have avoided all this shit if you would just edit that piece out that didn't have to be in there and i don't think niggas paper is long enough for frivolous lawsuits that they don't have a chance on winning call your lawyer and look up what defamation means I'm not doing this shit with you niggas out here you niggas is trying to play algorithm games and i'm not with none of them and that's still mel ford at the end of the day you niggas be on instagram liking the bad escorts going crazy the cheap ones. Bitches be 50 and 500 pounds. You niggas in the comments writing shit. Stop playing with niggas up here. Honestly, I observe. Nigga, I'm trying to be cool because niggas got. Damn, so hold on. What's he saying? Can't be talking to 50 plus escorts that are 500 pounds. What, Cam like heavy set girls? Why we why we body shaming Cam's obsession with heavy set girls, though? Cam got love for everything. Big bitches need love too, Craig. Like, well, you never watched Friday. Fat bitches need love too, Craig. Show. Sure. You never watched Friday? They need love too. Joe dressed up here like a paper boy from 1920 talking to camera. I'm so crazy. I would have never, I would have never predicted this, but Joe really became that man. Got relationships. Enough now. Enough. I stand with you too, Mel. You know, I called yeah. you. I called you. Mm -hmm. um, I called Mel the other day mm -hmm. just because I didn't like how it looked from. I didn't know, like, I, I'm saying everything I said to you. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that you didn't know about the uh, mm -hmm. the clip mm -hmm. before I played. And then looking back, it looks like it looked like I served you up. Mm -hmm. And I didn't, that's never my intention. I don't you know, I don't mm -hmm. do that to anybody up here. I apologize to you. I've been slacking on the podcast. We were at Art Baz when a lot been going on. You know, yay, listening party. If you guys haven't watched that vlog, go check that out. I'm going to shoot that shit out in every single video. You guys know I'm happy. That just happened. That happened, what, two, day, two days ago? And then five in the morning or some crazy shit. A day and a half ago, I'm going to keep talking about it. But I missed this episode, so I guess he plays the clip on camera. Cameron was saying her and the iced tea or maybe her
her and what he could say about her, maybe her and suing for defamation. There was a lot of clippable moments in that Cameron Live, a lot of clippable moments. So it looks like he just played that and she didn't know. Kind of like trying to bait her live on TV, like, oh, react to this right now. Like, what you gonna say? And she said she never heard that before. So that's crazy. And come from someone like Cam that she has pictures standing next to him taking pictures. Mel, that's why baby telling you, chill out. You be talking a little crazy on here. This nigga Cam's like, she's not even from this country. I was like, yo, that was a fun fact. That was a random fun fact. Private, and I'm yes. apologizing to you again mm, in public. Thank you. And I appreciate stand that. with Mel too. And nobody up here plays clout chaser no. games, yo. We don't do that over here. Shit been number one the whole time. It been a, a thought. That ain't that ain't my bad. I go viral just on the strength of my name and who I be, nigga. I ain't chasing all these algorithms. Y'all niggas stop playing. I'm tired of all the performance shit. I stand with Mel, and that's where I'm at with it. He said F. Did he just throw like, nah, he didn't say. I'm gonna just say he said a general state. Thank you. I stay with Mel as well. Thank you. Facts. And I'm sorry if I did anything. That nigga's gonna get packed up by Freaky Zeke. Y'all better stop playing with all the stand with Mel. Y'all saw what happened to, happened to Queen's Flip. He was up there like, man, F Queen's Flip. And I would have violated him by like his family so much. Y'all do good things. All that shit is goofy. Shit. All parts of it is goofy. It's all around goof troop. It's all around goof troop. It's goofy shit. Man, I'm, I got great weekend plans. I'm not playing with none of these niggas. Same. I'm lit. I'm lit this weekend. I'm outside. <laughs> show same. Yeah. <laughs> you guys agree with him? Do you stand with him? I'm not mad at Joe. I feel like you gotta die on that hill now. You amped it up. You be amping up your employees to go crazy sometimes. I feel like he did tell her though there, like, yo, whoa, whoa, what you doing? Like, chill. Everybody in the room was like, yo, yo, even Ish. Everybody's like, yo, chill out with that. But I feel like after shit pops off and flames go off, sometimes you be looking at your man's like, yo, you dumb for doing this, but you gotta ride with your home team. And Joe's there standing with his employees. And we loved, and I love to see this. No cap. I love to see this. I love to see this. We don't want to see employees shying away from everything. Like when Desto Dub got pressed, and Adam's like, I don't know why that happened. That was crazy. I got nothing to do with that. I don't know why that happened. Like, we don't know why that happened. You don't have no idea in the top of your head why that might happen. No Heather rants, no no back on fig, no commute community rants, none of that maybe, none of that maybe, hmm? None of that, you was up there talking like Don Dada, none of that. Joe's there, ready for war, machine guns and swords. Like, oh, y'all niggas is goofies, all of y'all. I'm outside, I'm lit this weekend. It's Cam, relax. He ain't saying his money's not long enough. Like, yo, relax, relax, but I don't think Cam got a case. I don't even think that that was defamation the character the day that he said that that he can get a defamation of character lawsuit i was like it sounds good on the live you're going in right now it was said right there i don't think you can unless more was said that i'm not privy to but what i seen that day in that episode when she talked about like oh but they could how you know their age or something i don't think that's enough right there because she didn't say for sure or they did something she said it could have been a possibility i don't think that's how defamation works but you guys let me know down below if you disagree do you think cam got a lawsuit against the joe button podcast do you think it's a possibility he could sue mel do you think cam might have went the wrong way about it going crazy also do you want to know what the promise was or the favor i mean rather that he asked queens flip i want to know so bad i want to know so bad queens what did he ask you to do queens what did he ask you to do he said it was crazy like what slap a cast member what did he ask you to do what did he ask him to do subscribe to the channel like the video i can tell you what i need you guys to do subscribe 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 we just passed 5,000 subscribers now we're in that road to 10,000. sub up sub up